Good morning, YouTube family and friends. We are on day 53. Thank God for a brand new day, a new day of mercies, a new day of compassion, a new day to renew our commitment unto God. I thank God for you all. Please have your Bibles available. This video won't be very long. I'm actually getting ready to help my dad out for his appointment. And so uh, I still made the time out to uh, uphold my commitment to the Bible challenge because you all are just that important to me. And my word is also important to me as well. Okay, let's dive right in. Hopefully you all have something to drink. I have a cup of water. <clears throat> and uh, what you all looking at is my little grandbaby. These are photos uh, that me and her parents have given to my father. So whenever I'm in town with my dad and his wife, which is my second mother, who is my second mother, um, I still have uh, family photos of, of my grandbaby and other family members to look at to keep my heart encouraged in times, especially what I'm going through right now. Y'all, please help me keep my father up in prayer. Prayer warriors out there, just keep my father in prayer. His name is James Bryant, okay? If y'all could do that for me, that would be a very, very big blessing and help for me and pray for my strength as well and pray for his wife's strength as well amen okay let's dive right in we're dealing with exodus 3 now moses kept the flock of jethro his father-in-law the priest of midian and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of god even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burnt with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said Moses Moses and he said here I am and he said draw not hither put off thy shoes from off thy feet for the place where on thy standards is holy ground moreover he said I am the God of thy father the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob and Moses hid his face for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land, and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, Hivites, and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Amen. May God add a blessing to the reading of his sweet word one more time. I tell you, the word of God just gets sweeter and sweeter. And that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to motivate us to want to continue to read his word. The summary of um, Exodus 3 from some, uh, from Google, Moses is guarding his father-in-law's flock of sheep, and he wanders with them beyond the wilderness to Horab, the mountain of God. An angel of God appears unto him in the form of a burning bush that's on fire but doesn't burn. God also reveals his name to Moses and 
and identifies himself as the God of your ancestors. Amen. Amen. You know, just to throw a little something extra, many people think it's okay for them to worship their uh, ancestors that have passed on and everything. That verse right there speaks volumes to me. He told Moses, I am the God of your ancestors. That means that God is bigger than our ancestors. We have to pray to the almighty and one and true God. It is not right for us to pray to our ancestors. No, we pray to our ancestors' creator, the God of our ancestors. You know, that's who we pray to. And I just thank God. I, that's just something I got out of that. And, um, and that's something that's true, very true. It's facts. Because God is our ultimate uh, problem solver. That's who we go to. That's what we go to. Amen. All right, y'all. Uh, please have a, a blessed day. I uh, also want to um, let you all know for the ones that support my Dolly stories, I deeply apologize. Uh, the Dolly stories will be canceled uh, today due to an unexpected visit to uh, see my dad uh, on today. I had to leave out first thing yesterday morning. To come help my dad out and uh, help uh, my second mother out and everything. And I did not pack a doll with me. I'm thinking about possibly leaving a doll uh, at my father's house in the future. Just for emergencies when I'm rushing out and, and do not think about packing. Because I used to, uh, I used to travel with a dog but I don't travel with any of my dogs anymore and there's a long story to that but due to the fact that I have this YouTube channel now and I actually use my dogs for other purposes besides the purposes I used to use the dogs for um uh, I don't want to make a habit of counseling my dolly stories due to me uh you know just not having a dog available so and that's the reason why i just don't have a doll available so i might just like i said just keep one handy at his house at all times uh since i'm gonna be here more often than a few times and um uh, so i'll do that so please uh forgive me for the ones who are i really do look forward to my dolly stories okay so if this affects you any type of way um, I look forward to the next time I'm able to, uh, get back to where I live and, uh, be around my dolls to present a dolly story. I would do that. Uh, not sure when I'm going to be able to do it because I don't know how long I'm, I'm going to be visiting my dad this week. So you all, like I said, keep me and my family in your prayers and be remember Jesus loves y'all and I do too. Bye. Oh, you know what? No, I can't say bye yet. <laughs> Subscribe, comment, like, share this content. <laughs> and this is uh, Sheila's World of Fun and Inspiration channel. Amen. Bye.